Shania is a warrior princess. <laughs> She's loving, fun. She loves Hello Kitty. When she was born, she had a small hole in her heart. So at five months, she had um, open heart surgery. After that, she was like any ordinary kid, you know, go to school, play, then all of a sudden. I didn't want to lay down because when, when I laid down, it hurts. We ended up at Duke Hospital. So I was her cardiologist when she was a baby and actually was on call the night she came to the ED. Her heart function was very poor. She also had kidney dysfunction. They said that her kidneys were failing and they was going to keep her. We kept thinking if we got her on dialysis and we could get the kidney failure under control, then maybe her heart would get better. But it became apparent that wasn't going to happen. It just broke all of our hearts to see Shania to be eight years old and have to go through that. She needed both a heart transplant and a kidney transplant. And at that point, it's a, it's a waiting game. We're supporting her and making her feel better and waiting for two organs to become available from the same patient. It turned into days, weeks, months. She wasn't able to survive without being on these IV medications and she continued to need dialysis. Medically, it's challenging, but emotionally, it's even more challenging. And then took the whole team in the ICU and cardiology and surgery and child life to sort of create a new home along with her family. That first week I took care of her, she kept touching everyone's nails and asking who did them and where. That looks beautiful. She came up with an idea to charge people to paint their nails. She had time slots you could sign up for. For fun, some of us went in and begged her, even though we were guys, to let her do our nails, and she ended up doing it. Charge us double. It has to look good. I'm going to dinner tonight. She likes to dance. I like to dance. She started teaching me how to do the nay nay. Her to be more active and more interactive. I taught Dr. Kamen how to do the whipping and nay nay. I kept teaching him. And then after he couldn't do it right, I said, I give up. Behind the doors, away from them, we have serious conversations with their families, serious conversations with each other. The organ matching process is a pretty complicated one. Uh, and so we were looking for the, uh, an appropriate match for her. And when you get that offer that seems to be the right one, um, you generally know it's the right one. We had not done a heart transplant together with another organ and a child before, so it took a lot of planning. Especially in, in a transplant operation, we count on every, every part of the team to do their part. An important consideration is timing. Organs are secured in multiple layers of containers and then put in coolers full of ice that are then brought back by the respective teams. It's always a relief to see the heart beating and pink up and start to function normally. Dr. Lodge explained what happened. Her heart is working beautifully. All we can do is say, thank you, Dr. Lodge. Then when it came time for her to do her kidney surgery, Dr. Kirk came in and spoke with us, explaining again what's going to take place, how long it's going to take. Every time you do one of these operations, it's like a miracle. Always, it just amazes me to watch it work, and that's what keeps you in it. I want to be a nurse when I grow up. Shania was fascinated with their badges, so every time someone would come in, she would grab their badges. So eventually, they gave her a badge. Emily made it for me. It has my name on it. Good nurses get stars on them, and I've been playing nurse, so I got this star. If she want to be that nurse, I want her to be that nurse as well, because she has some very good role models. Thank you for everyone at Duke for my heart and kidney transplant. We was in this hospital over 300 days. Thank you. Thank you. I can't say it enough because she got a second chance. And Duke and God gave it to Shania.